we have and we see now the third nation in the European continent announcing and asking its citizens to stockpile water and food for emergency. Germany was the first one, Finland has announced this week the same. So, the governments in Europe expect that there can be a crisis. The government expects a shortage of food and water, and if we look into the process, there is a high possibility. Why Western European nations are taking this position one by one slowly, is that, as we know, most of the Western Europeans are relying on a, a gas pipeline from Russia. If the situation in Ukraine gets worse, there is a high possibility that the energy supply will be cut off and then the crisis will run into uh, a speculation of what this might be and what it is and the governments are trying to cover themselves. Water, because one of the first things will be shut off, will be power generators to the pumps and the waters and the food and the rest of it which we will see. Understand what we advised last week to the Italian disaster condition and follow the same procedure. The process is keep as much gas as you can as CO2, CH3, copper oxide and zinc oxide. You can have access to water anywhere in, uh, in these countries. Rivers, connection to anything, ponds, whatever. These copper oxide, gas, water, plasmas are purification systems. So you can purify the water. The CH3 is your food line for the energy, as we explained. You can use a huge amount of the CO2 for different kind of application. The zinc oxide is for your uh, emotional concern. Therefore, it's very easy. First of all, we have seen and we see a further development in the release of the power generators. We will release the power generator blueprint to the factories and then on, on to the public. The new solid state without motors, we are still progressing, developing, and at this moment, we are in the innovation center working without the pump. We have done without the pump at this moment, and we have done without the, uh, what you call the compressors. Once we complete this, hopefully within the next week or so, the manufacturing production for the power generators will stop. We change the process that we will not release anything regarding the solid state power, except to what we have agreed with the Chinese government. This the, our work very much connects to how we see the behavior and the progress of our development with the Chinese. We have agreed with the Chinese government officials that we release four to four groups in China the blueprint of the new generator. They simultaneously have 24 hours to replicate it and submit it to the Chinese leadership and to the Chinese government. Upon the working of that confirmation outside the Keshe Foundation, then it will be released at six locations around the world that it can be replicated. There is a reason we release to Chinese government is because of our respect for the leadership and what we have agreed on the terms of our agreement. Then, when the six positions around the world confirm the replication, we will show the system on one of the teachings, working system in 10 locations. 
we have asked the people not to release information. We have seen the release of information by Amman to Arizona, which was not supposed to be done. But Arizona has tested it as part of the development and they have already released part of the technology. This should have not taken place. The process is very simple. What we have done, the Arizona group has taken the part of the development of the solid state, which is a looping exactly as of the pumps using two MAGRAF system, and they have reduced the energy consumption by 70%. They have videoed it, you can see it. Those of you in United States who have the MAGRAF units can apply this and you will see it will apply. But this is not a generator. This is the application of further reduction for what we've seen in some nations, people could not see reduction. We have to reduce the power to be able to use a lower power to be able to power. What this means, we reduce the power from 100% to 70. Now it's easier to supply the 70% power than 100% power. And this is what the generators will supply. Um, John Bevan has um, copied the system the way Armand has told them. You can see it. It's a loop system. It's a loop system, as you see in the blueprint of the generator, where you have two compressors. Generators, they have put two MAGRAV units in loop, which is positive of one to the negative the other one, negative of one to the positive of the other one, which is what you see in the blueprint. If you go on the blueprint and look at compressor A and B, and you listen to the teaching of last week, we said that these compressors have a generator inside it, which is a copper winding. That's all the generators are. So the two, coil, the two compressors have been replaced by two stacker units without anything else. So in that process, you see the reduction. The rest of the system is a power generator system, which is looped. In the progress of the development of the generator, we have added, we made it much more simpler way. But if you have two MAGRAF system and you can connect it in a loop, you will see the same process of the power generator reduction as the two compressors. Uh, Mr. Um, the process of understanding the system is in reality in how the fields interact. The field interaction will give you a lot of information. One of these field interactions, can I share the screen please? One of these interactions we see you looking in the energy side. One of the main concerns, which is a rich cash foundation in so many ways in the background, is how do, if you understand the looping, now you see it in the MAGRAF system, how this looping can be used in different applications. One of the things which we have seen, and now has become a path of wealth for big organization, is certification, patterning different kind of viruses. And then releasing these viruses in a very small quantity and sometimes it runs out of control to put fear amongst the nations that now they can sell in billions their products. Before, if you had a flu, they sell you one tablet and million people have to buy a tablet. Now, by releasing and maybe killing a few, they force the governments to buy millions of their tablets. This is a new pattern of um, industrial enforcement, not on individuals, now on government scale. We saw this with Ebola. 
Now we've seen another version of this in Far East. We've seen designer viruses to force governments to pay huge amounts for the crisis which has been created. We've seen that with a new design patent and with it we have seen the process with the governments panicking, trying to get their citizens safeguarded, buying huge dosage of antivirus which did not exist, is being released, now you have to do something with it. Go back to the teaching, and we said this many times. This technology is built for viruses. This technology is tailor-made for viruses. One of the reasons this technology is effective in the cancer, because the cancer is another kind of virus which has a huge power in respect to its environment. And this is why we spoke about the four cases that we're going to do international trial. If you look on most of the past five years, ten years, virus breakouts, a few weeks, a few months, a few years earlier, one of the big nationals, multinationals, have suddenly out of nowhere, have put a patent in for the virus, which is natural, but the string which they have developed antivirus for, to sell billions. But in the space, we don't have multinationals to create viruses. These viruses exist as part of the addition to the attachment to the amino acid, as we've spoken before. What happens? You have a virus, or you have an energy pack, which itself is recipient, is vulnerable. It has a spectrum of energies which can link with another energy pack which has no amino acid connection, but can connect to the amino acid spectrum. So, this becomes a virus. Now, with the understanding of the new system, that you have in your hand, which you only need, in most cases, a CO2. The CO2, as a gas material, as a magnetic gravitational system, sees the virus as its totality. And a common line of the carbon, and a common line of oxygen to lock on gravitational. You remember the law of the gas of the plasma? Very simple. The weaker takes from the stronger that it can become balanced between the two, and in that process, the effect of virus and connection with the amino acid changes, and you break the bond. And what you're left with, in a way, is your CO2 with the breakage of the bond. So, any time you see any kind of viruses released, any kind of viruses created, we know the flu has been tested by TEPCO and shown 100% result. We heard it from our Japanese section. We know Chinese have tested different application of it. Now different flu which comes, what a string or whatever, only thing you need is presence of liquid gas of CO2, maybe in two large doses, three large doses, the minute you feel it, and follow it with three to five days of the same dosage, like two or three spoon of CO2 gas liquid plasma. Virus should go. You will have most probably the sign of virus inside you for a few days, but the effectiveness of the virus will go. The way we dismantled the operation of 
manipulation of genetic modification of seeds with GANS, as we have seen, you do the same thing with viruses. Now, we see a huge, uh, is Vivek on the line? Vivek, are you in the background? Can you allow him to speak? Uh, yes, Mr. Keshe, I'm here. Good morning. Good morning, Vivek. Can you explain the situation in your country at the moment and the background to it, please? Well, um, on Saturday last week, uh, we heard on the news that there was a confirmed case of Zika virus in Singapore. Within a few hours, that number had increased to 43. And uh, the last that we spoke, that number had gone up to 56. So um, I haven't been keeping uh, track of it because I've had other things to do in the meantime. But uh, it was a very, very sudden jump from 1 to 43 to 56. Could you tell us what is a Zika uh, virus? A Zika virus is carried by the Aedes mosquito. And uh, it was first uh, discovered in, I think, Uganda or somewhere in Africa. That was in the 1950s. Um, from what I understand, uh, in the early days, you know, people caught the Zika virus. They felt sick. Uh, they took a few days to recover and everything was okay. But now, uh, it seems that uh, when it affects pregnant women, uh, the, uh, the babies are being born with deformities. So is it is a modified version of uh, the disease or is it the same to your knowledge? Or do we that, have anybody in the background who can enlighten us more? I have no, I, I do not have any concrete proof of uh, any modifications. Mm -hmm. I, so I, I cannot say for sure that this is definitely we are not modified. Going, we are not going to mention the name for reasons you know. but. Mm. One of the organizations in the very recent past has pattern registered a kind of this disease. Am I correct? Yes. It's one of the most famous uh, foundation. Has patent out of nowhere um, Zika uh, virus, which is a natural product. It's a natural um, system process virus and how the pattern application form for it, and then we see outburst, we've seen the same thing with Ebola. We've seen the same thing a few other times when one of the multinationals patent things that they give it to be tested and it runs out of control. And then it, uh, it forces nations and we see hundreds of thousands of people in some cases get affected, thousands of people die, and the rest of it. We have started a clinical process in, uh, in assessing these things through the Keshe Foundation uh, arms of research, which means in the coming time, we will test these in international laboratories, in the governmental laboratories, and we'll see the effect of and how it is. We see results with HIV, which is a virus. We see uh, results with uh, malaria and the rest of it. What is interesting, when you get any kind of flu, when you get any kind of infection, as a doctor tells you it's a virus, just try. Very simple. The Gans liquid of CO2. In some cases, which is very severe, you add 1 to 10 uh, copper oxide, which means you take 10 drops of uh, uh, liquid, you withdraw one drop out, and you add one drop of copper oxide plasma, and you'll find it very effective. So, coincidentally or accidentally, the process of any virus for us is perfect. The beauty with our work is we have to take the opportunities like this to prove that the technology works in deep space. 
when we can see these kind of uh, viruses which are released into the environment or have been with us and suddenly take hold, if they can be used directly in respect to. My call goes to the farmers. If you have, we've seen this with reporting of uh, several cases. If you have um, chicken farms, for example, or dog farms, and you uh, you um, you do farming of the birds, which are vulnerable to these kind of uh, problems, we would like to know what would happen if you add continuously a small amount of CO2 to your system, to the watering system of your birds. Something which is very important for us to take further. We've seen the use of antibiotics heavily, heavily in uh, farming with cows. We would like, if you are a farmer, to test, to replace the use of antibiotic with adding of the CO2 plasma GANS liquid into the daily water of the animals. Has twofold. First of all, you will not need to use antibiotic. Report back to us. We tell you what it is, and we would like to see that kind of response back. What we see from different trials, it means no need for application and use of hormones and uh, what you call antibiotics. If we can further confirm this, this closes what is being introducing hormones into the food of food chain and introduction of bacteria, what we call antibiotics in the part of the food that now people have become to the point that the antibiotic does not work on them because they receive so much of it through their food chain. That body has become immune to antibiotics. It's not that we take so much of it, it's that so much is received through the digestion system. With this process, we can create a healthier food, cleaner food, and in a way, when you get a doctor to give you antibiotic, it costs a lot of money from the capital investment point of view, where with a CO2 GANS costs you nothing. You can produce it on a continuous basis, you produce one lump sum, and then you can feed it to the cattle. Reduction in application and usage of antibiotics in farming is higher than human huge amount of antibiotic is used in, in the farming, especially what we call in captive farming, which is the animals are kept and imprisoned in boxes all their life, they never see a daylight, so the, the environment they are is extremely infectious and vulnerable to all sorts of problems. Losing huge number of animals, uh, especially if you are in a bird process, well, like chickens, is a huge loss. I used to have a chicken farm. I know the losses, I know the pain, financial damage to it. There is a disease called Glasgow, which uh, it runs literally like air through the bird, and they go like drunk, and they call it the Glasgow. And these things can be stopped with just application of the gas water. We've seen, we're coming to the winter time, every year they are giving so much injections to the elderly to overcome the winter viruses, offer to the elderly CO2 in replacement for injections if they want. Because now we see, according to the international report, the reduction in the effectiveness of the injections they give to elderly, because they're becoming immune to it. With the CO2, you cannot become immune to it because it's part of your structure and keeps the balance. So, as we enter the winter time, and a lot of elderly look into doctors for injections, influenza and this, take it, but take a CO2 next to it, and you will see the same.
we are looking for the application of CO2 in conjunction with a small amount of zinc oxide and a small amount of copper oxide to replace the childhood three injections which creates mayhem in the body of the children. We will put this proposal to governmental structures and we are now in a position that we can test ourselves. Measles and mumps where children are given injection and then we see the, all the disabilities and everything else which comes with it, the autism and everything else, we think and we are pretty sure we can prove it that can be eradicated by using GANS materials without any side effect. It needs to be done in a certain way and it can literally stop the process. We will promote this in the coming time in European help sections and we'll promote it through the channels which are available to the Foundation. So, we are looking at a total package development. We are not looking at odd cases. Today's teaching literally goes around this development. The application of GANS materials in respect to viruses. Because in the space, we will not see any more bacterials or very little, if any, will develop that we cannot handle. And don't forget, bacterials we can handle easily because they're of the lower order. We can use the same process for food infection and all sorts of other things. It's the viruses, which are the energy packs, which will add and link up to the body of the man in a space and cause mayhem. We have a test ground here with the diseases we know, with infectious conditions created by the viruses in attachment to the amino acid body of the man, that we can see the changes. If we can do, if we can see, if we can develop further structure around how much with what, the world of medicine with the viruses gets solved and we leave the antibiotics to the doctors to prescribe. And what we see as the usage of the balance of the energy environment becomes more prevailing, we will see the reduction in usage of antibiotics. What we would like to see is the same process try to use the CO2 to wash your mouth instead of toothpaste. Use the CO2 for washing your mouth. You don't need to spit it out, you can swallow it. But allows you to balance everything in your gum that stops the tooth decay and everything else, enforces and balances the root into the gum and can stop a lot of future development of problems and dental problems. In a space, I cannot ship you back to Earth for root treatment. But if I can stop the rotting of the teeth by not allowing the environment for it to be created, accidentally you can break a tooth, but you'll have no diseases with it. If you use and understand this process, you can even remedy that in the coming time. We are looking not for a cure, we are looking for a change of environment that does not allow the changes to take place to begin with. If you remember, in some of the teachings in the past, I explained to you to give block of cheese, a small piece of cheese to your children or yourself before you go to sleep, three, four times a week, and you will see no tooth decay. I've become the biggest enemy of the dentist, because dentists know it will work. If you have a dog or a cat or animals in the farm which have a tooth problem, 
which they have a lot of teeth to these kind of things, all you need to do to add kind of cheese to the diet, or CO2 gans liquid to the diet, and you'll find out the tooth decay will do not exist anymore. It's a natural process, is not a loss. One of the biggest enemy of the body of the man, an increase in cancer, we see through toothpaste. I've explained this process many times. You deplete the body, huge amount released, if the body cannot release the huge amount available, it produces storage, that storage becomes the center for a cancer, and then mayhem in the body of the man. Understand the process, we are not fighting, we are balancing the field forces within the structure of the body of the man. You get a bad infection, flu infection, the first reaction, within the first hour, take three spoons of ganses of the plasma of CO2, maybe with a drop of copper oxide gans plasma into it, repeat it three, four times in the day, for two, three days, as I said, you will feel the temperature drop immediately. And then, you'll find you still might have influences of the virus to you, within you, but as you drink, with the research shown from TEPCO, the body will discharge everything through. That's why you're drinking the gas water, that you wash the energy more and more out of your body. You literally discharge it. This is important. This is important because now you see how you use the GANS as a way of cleaning. If you have people, children with a high temperature, just wash their body, just the knee down, leg down with GANS of water of CO2. Just a wash, just rub it on it. And you will see the energy balance in the circulation will bring sudden temperature drop, rapid temperature drop, better than alcohol or water, but it's balanced, there is no shock to it. These are the processes which we becoming a force in the world of science that has to be recognized and accepted and followed. We are not there to go against anyone, we are there to offer alternative. And if this alternative is more effective, therefore we have another solution on the table. We have to understand, it's a new child, new technology, new understanding. It's a new variation, it's a new uh, combination, it's a new totality to the structure of the science. We need this, we need this development, we need this understanding that we can add into the tool of the knowledge of the man. So, those of you who are bothered by E. coli or Ebola or any kind of viruses, be it in Africa, be it in Asia, being in Europe. If AIDS is a nightmare of your life, if you are afraid or live with malaria, we, once we get our license, hopefully our permission for clinical trials, with the injection of the GANS liquid into the blood, in less than 2 milliliters, we will release it to the doctors to test, and in the opportunities we have, we test across the world. As I said, FDA has no value in deep space, when they cannot get medicine to it. What will be the suggestion, when you have man in space, carry a GANS, tested, FDA approved, the beauty of this technology is, has no side effect, because it's an energy balance provider. If is 
used according to the understanding of the physicality of the man, there is no danger to it. But you have to understand the process that is used. We encourage you, you know people with AIDS, start giving them waters of the GAN CO2. You have people which are HIV positive, they start giving them CO2, maybe a drop of GANS of copper oxide, a liquid plasma in it. And start structuring to get mankind out of this mess, which is the part of the understanding we never understood. Now we understand, we can literally mass produce and protect ourselves. There is no need for suffering, loss of parents and fathers, nations with no father and mother, where AIDS and other diseases are taking hold for the benefit or trial of one thing or another, especially we've seen huge amount of damages done by trials or whatever done by United Nations or on the back of the United Nations or UNICEF and the rest. It's not that they went to harm, they went to find a solution, because when they are successful, we don't hear. When it comes wrong, it comes to our attention. United Nations, UNICEF and the rest do a lot of work in that side, very positive. But where there is a gap, as additional science, we can add to it and we can cover the whole totality. The biggest problem, why I raise this one, is that we see multinational C viruses as a huge sudden incomes for their systems, and this has to stop. If you are in Singapore, if you are in any part of the world, which this Zika or Ebola or AIDS is prevalent, start producing CO2 gans, give the liquid of it to you, the people, just to drink, on a regular basis, for 30, 60 days, 100 days, three, four or five teaspoons, or super spoons, and you will see the changes. You have children with a high infection, that they can go to a high temperature, that they can change their brain, and create also some mental damage, which you see very often, just wash their body with a gas of CO2 water, or a few drops of CO2, to balance the energy. The fever will go down, the temperature will go down, the damage to the brain stops, and then the body starts handling the virus to deplete of its energy. As I said, steps by step, we now achieved energy production through generator. Now we are on the verge of the space technology, we are on the verge of what we have come contractually applicable regarding the world peace, and we will show it in the coming days, once everything is done, and then we handle the agriculture, viruses are one of the biggest problems, not only on this planet, but in deep space. One of the reasons we have not brought huge viruses, if man has been to a space, which there's a lot of questions to it, these viruses will wipe us out worse than any other virus. Once we open the door of the universal community, and we travel into the deep space, and we land on different planets, and different environments in the universe, it's inevitable that the energies are not in balance with us, or some of the energy which are not in balance with us, will interact with the part which is in balance with us, and they create what we call viruses. We might have a few seconds, we might have a few minutes of survival time, because the energy transfer is so rapid, that it's so aggressive, and it's so heavy, that can lead to this condition of loss of life, or confirmation, or transformation of the energy of the cell into another entity, energy bigger and stronger. In that process, you have few seconds, few minutes, maybe few hours on the planetary condition of the Earth. There are no FDAs. You are the last man standing, and there shall be no man. In the coming time, we do not use the GANs of the water of CO2, we will use 
incubators which carry only the field of CO2. You already have these incubators, you call them CO2 boxes. All you need to do is to create the same condition and put the man inside it. The position where the gans of CO2 is created can be in the center of the body of the man where the virus takes hold, creates balance between the two plates, no virus. There are no health certificates, if you can use, when is your life, the last point. This is the change, this is what we try to enforce, and this is to enforce the new knowledge, by the application of it, by majority of the people using it. As you see in all my talks, I always say, we don't fight no one, we just introduce a system which is better in accepting the changes in parameters, then you find out there is no need to fight, because there is no match, there is no comparison. This is one of the biggest problems this technology is creating very rapidly, and that is silent change. The silent change is the biggest tool we have, and I tell you something, we tried, all of us we are. About 48 hours ago, Caroline picked up a very bad virus. She woke up with a very high temperature, the whole body burning. She said, I'm in this condition for two or three hours, what can I do? I said, you know it better than me, just try it. Take some CO2 gas water, three or four a spoon, and repeat it every five minutes for the next half an hour, or two or three times for the next hour, and you will see the result. And wash your hands with it. Within less than a few minutes, body cooled down, no virus. The fever which she was in it for three hours, disappeared. She woke up out of the sleep with a high temperature. No temperature, but she had to go through the change of the virus, the de depletion of it in the body. Temperature dropped to 36.6 in less than five minutes, from maybe around 40s. No side effect, no depletion, just allowing by taking the gans of the water of the CO2 every hour, every few hours, you wash or you take the energy which is unbalanced out of your body, you add to it because not all the ganses can meet with all the energy viruses which is rapidly developed in the body, so they get filled up, the balances reaches. So you need to top it up that for whatever is extra to become more in balance. If you have one million virus cells in the body and with a gans of water you only provide 200 thousand of it, you need at least five to ten times taking that you can more or less balance the rest of the energy. There is no fighting, there is no fighting in this medicine, in this process, it's balancing the energy. Next time you go into a restaurant, you have a food poisoning, take a gans of CO2 with you, you'll find out effectively works. This is the process we have to follow, this is what we see, and the more we understand. I encourage you, there are millions of people around the world who are infected with AIDS and HIV. They spend heavy amount of money to balance their body that they can live without a pain or without the disabilities of the disease, every day, tablets over tablets. Our tablets three, four times a day, a spoonful of water, which is the plasma condition of the CO2 and zinc oxide, and maybe a few drops of copper oxide. If you undermine or fight, as the process is done today with the infection, you do not succeed, that's why we see such a growth. 
if you add to bring balance, the body works much better. If you suffer from any kind of influenza, flu, or whatever, try it. TEPCO tells us it works. This is the process which we will encourage and we develop. We are looking into production of system with just this GANS, the water goes through it, and you can take the surplus continuously for consumption. Doesn't need no pharmaceuticals, doesn't need no surgery. Some of the injections have to be done through intravenous because of the rapid transfer and change. Digestion system is too slow. We would like to test in the countries where there is a snake poisoning or different kind of animal poisoning which are dangerous, like in Australia and South Africa, the process of CO2 against snake bites. Washing the position with the copper oxide and zinc oxide or injecting into the snake bite a very small amount of gans of CO2 or eating it or drinking it. Especially those which touch the neuro system, supporting the neuro system with like a 50-50 CO2 and zinc oxide to support the neuro system. To see if we can find a solution for this kind of uh, accident. Does taking and washing the snake bite with a combination of copper oxide and zinc oxide outside and CO2 and zinc oxide inside will do the same as antivenom. We think it does, it should do. We have to look in the new way to the whole world of medicine, application of the medicine, implication of it, and if there are any development which we need to learn to bring the old and new to work together. Would we need a very much small amount of antibiotics mixed with the GANs of CO2, which increases its potency and delivery of it, that we don't need to take so much, but we work on the energy level, so the body's become immunity to antibiotic, and it's the biggest problem nowadays, is overcome. Do we need to use uh, one milligram or 500 uh, milligram or whatever of one thing to achieve a process where we can use one or two milligram, mix it with the CO2 GANs, increase its potential, and then apply it that the energy, the antibiotic needs very little to work, and the GANs takes the energy from it. This is a very high possibility, to mix the two sides together. This mixing, this combination of the, uh, what we call the physical state of the antibiotics and viruses and CO2 with a much, much smaller dosage is a high possibility. We know this happens, especially if, for example, you take antibiotic, they tell you you cannot drink alcohol because it increases its potency, which adds CH3 to it, in a way. Extra sugar allows the unbalance, where with CO2, the energy of the bacteria can be taken away to be brought in balance. One delivers, the other one cleans up. There is a very high possibility, we see antibiotic in conjunction with GANS water to be much more effective than antibiotic on their own, and there will be no saturation point. You can try it, if you are given the antibiotic, you speak with your doctor, with your physician, and if he says, for example, 100, say, I would like to take, cut, to cut the tablet in 10 pieces and take one tenth, and mix it with CO2, and see if it's more effective. 
is us who has to share the knowledge, is us who has to find new standards for ourselves. In a space, we have no one to rely on. And we are training people for deeper space. These are what we need to add. These are what we need to progress. These are what we need to be able to sustain life in the space and sometimes on this planet for what is to come or what is, comes regularly to us. Application of CH3 to be increase its potential or what we call its potency by repetitive increase by motion. What happened if you put CH3 and add a mixer into it, that you homogenize the energy? Would it give you at 500 revolution the energy of a potato, 600 the carrot, 1000 the energy of the meat? Do we need to eat meat, or we can produce combination of CH3 as a GANS, and concentrate which energy we need? These are not the dream anymore, these are the realities, and you know when you're going to test it? When the time comes, when the German government says, there is no food, and you say, oh, that guy said, if I have CH3, and I have a beater at home, I can test it, I'm not hungry. I can test it, I taste bacon, I taste meat, I taste tomatoes. Let us to develop the technology, now that we have time, then when we have to test it in time of crisis. Do we need to have a spectrum of the energy levels, or do we create by stripping the energy from the layers of the GANs to get to a higher or combination of the different height, and we can test it. You tested the power of what you call orange. What I would love you to do is get a beater, put a CH3 and beat it. 1000 RPM and start smelling what you smell, go to 1200 RPM, smell it, see if it changes the smell from carrot to meat. Put a mixer in a combination of small amount of CO2 and CH3, and see what you smell, what you taste in your mouth, without actually smelling it, because if you taste it, you have received the energy of it. These are the processes people in Germany have to rely on. You can create a condition of water without actually drinking a single gram or liter of water. You have to understand the process. You have to understand the condition. If you have a water and you put it in a mixer and you can mix it the very high revolution, would you create the plasma of the water that your body in being in touch with it receives what it needs as plasma of the water? The answer is yes. See if you feel tasty, if the thirst comes back, if the hunger comes back. In the developing world, the stirring is the key to the freedom of the food. A lot of you have tested the coils, but you never understood it. When you test the coils, and they are filled with it, and you taste it, it's within the structure of it. In the coming time, when you use the core reactors, you will understand a lot will change. A lot will change. Even your physical control has no control. We are testing a new unit in the Philippines, and this morning, we're not, not going to discuss what the structure is, but it can affect your body badly, or control of it. Which means the field interact, and the field can bring emotion and connection. 
Renan, are you there to explain to me what you were explaining this morning in our communication, but do not discuss the system. Just tell us how you felt. Yes, Mr. Cash. Could you please explain to us? Okay, so with the existing reactors... Oh, core right. What are you doing? Just explain what the feeling was and how you feel. Okay, the emotion that I'm uh, detecting it during the time that I was uh, running the system for 24 hours already. So in early in the morning, I just get near the system and I feel a gravitational pull. My left hand is being pulled towards the reactor and my right hand is being pulled to my left hand. So the fields that are in the surrounding is like, uh, it's more a gravitational field that is pulling, but there is still a magnetical field that is already radiating away from it, which I can feel the whole body, but my left hand uh, is being absorbed. It's like being pulled and my right hand being pulled to my left hand. So it's like you're being uh, attracted. So well, it, I, I think the system has interacted with my body and creating a loop. So making my left hand and right hand uh, uh, clap, to, clap together or get near together. So the field is the field is uh, working uh, like a, it's a gravitational field, more or more gravitational. Would you like would you like to say what I said? You created what? <laughs> yes, sir. The, uh, what was that? You you have created the first uh, plasma uh, handcuffs. A yeah. uh, handcuff, yeah. <laughs> so it's uh, like a plasma handcuff, letting you make your hands hold hold together and pray. <laughs> This is what, thank you very much. This is the way we see the technology develop, the interaction with the field of the body of the man. And if we arrange it in so many ways, we can do all sorts of things with it. Do we need, in the case of a virus infection, to digest or drink uh, CO2, or do we create the condition of CO2 over a nation. Or do we create a condition of plasmatic condition that brings balance into the physicality environment of a nation or an environment or a village that no viruses work? My knowledge is so deep that I said very recently, I can change the mind of a whole humanity. And we are getting to that point that we might have to do so. I have not taught you everything, but in the package of the knowledge, it's very easy to change the structure of every man's line of thinking. I warned about this before, and very recently I have said I will apply it. There is a knowledge within our capability that can reach the soul of every creature on this planet. Does not matter if you're a fish, a man, a dog, or others. But the change has to come in because then you can change it again if you get the opportunity in the space. It has to be understood by the man and accepted by the man that he stands the judge to his own soul. The process of viruses has to be developed very rapidly. We start teaching the first groups of what we call motions in the fall. And that process will be partially the development, understanding of the field plasma, that even in the field plasma of the plane of the land, you land, become 
what we call neutral, that you cannot pick up viruses from the environment. Any questions? Mr. Kesh, uh, just one very quick question. The CO2 against the plasma water, how can we use this to as a, a mosquito repellent? Because all these, uh, the, the, the various uh, viruses are being transmitted by the Aedes mosquito. Um, what uh, Caroline does is just mixes the copper oxide with zinc, ox with, um, zinc oxide, with CO2, and sprays it around the garden, around the seating area. And this changes the environment for the animals. You don't kill them. You just change it for them that they do not exist. They do not live. They don't want the environment. This is what we do at home. Right, so that means we can we can spray it inside the you know bathroom walls and all that, and the mosquitoes won't be breeding over there. This is what we've seen in some cases, yes. But you have Thank to you, find Mr. out what it is. It's the same as we said. We don't use um, uh, what do you call it pesticides anymore. We just change the environment that the pests cannot live in it. The time of killing is over. It's just we change the environment to what it suits us and not suiting them. You remember you that remember that, uh, that uh, ad of uh, years ago, where you whistle, nobody hears, but the dog runs. We create a condition where dog cannot exist. So we see the same thing. We see nowadays in the market units which can plug in and create the frequency of the uh, the flies or whatever. With this technology, we change the environment of it. We change, don't create a frequency that they don't live, but we change the environment which does not suit them. If you get beaten, if you have a burn, just uh, wash the burn or the the bite with the gans of CO2 or copper oxide, you find instantaneously the pain disappears and the process of inflammation is not there. You don't get the, what do you call it, all the problems with it. You get um, asthma attack. Make sure if you have an asthma attack, if you're asthmatic, very simple. Make yourself this pipe. I've shown this many times. Instead of taking all these asthma machines, you have to understand the background behind asthma is emotional unbalance, which shows itself through the point of the emotion supply of the fields, which is the lung, which feeds the blood, which is the emotional circulation. All you need to do is very simple. Build yourself a pipe. Put a, what do you call, a fish pipe, and fill this pipe, if you can, with a gans or water gans of CO2 and zinc oxide. 50-50. and breathe from this end and let the air to go through very slowly. Tell me the result. Has to be very heavy dosage, very heavy dosage of cancers. You bring emotion into balance because through the zinc you create emotion and you bring the neural connection of it into balance with the CO2. Try it, till you bring the balance, and see how gradually asthma will not exist, till you change the balance, you will see your behavior change. At the same time, make yourself the same mixture of water of GANS, and two teaspoons, three times a day. 
let me know if you find any changes and I'm sure a lot of you will. You have all the tools of changing and you don't need much to change. The air you breathe gets energized in the field. That's why you feel better when you go into certain environments. I can breathe when I'm at the sea level. I don't get an asthma attack. Because you go at peace, you go calm. It's not the sea, it's the calmness, which is emotional. The sanitarium of the man is the planet itself, but he has chosen to ignore it. Very simple. You don't need to make all these complicated things, you can do it yourself. Make patches of zinc and oxygen, copper, or zinc and um, carbon, and just put it on your lungs, front and the back. You tell me where is the asthma attack comes from anymore. Because you don't give it the reason for it not to be there the next time. A combination of these three is the key for you to walk away from asthma. No medicine. You support the emotion which creates a shortage of air which is needed, but the other part of the physicality need the air, so you call it asthma attack, which runs short of oxygen. Emotion overtaking the physical part, and the physical part needs it, so the collapse of the lung. You get people with a water or liquid in their lungs. Just put two patches, huge patches of gas of CO2 with zinc oxide, back and the front, and then you tell me what the difference will come in a few days. Um, excuse me, Mr. Keshe, <clears throat> a few people are asking if the tube was filled with uh, GANs or the liquid plasma. Or, uh, Both ways, it depends on the strength you need. Thank you. I sent you the, the process is that we understand how people are helping themselves and how people see it and how they share the knowledge with us. Um, we need to understand more and how we can apply different application of it. There is a piece of information, this goes back to people who understand, to a lot of you will not mean much. We are in position of a technology which can change the soul of the man. Not from below, not from understanding, but being empowered to influence the soul of the man. This allows us to disarm, this allows us to do a lot of changes if need be on totality of the human being. Be it in one area, be it in the region, be it as part of the totality of the change. Those of you who understand the reason for this, you understand that we can change the condition without the need for applying any further external influences, but work within the structure which is available to the knowledge. Man will not remember why they are fighting. We'll find out in a very short time how military forces will back off from the point of war, understanding the advantage of the peace. In the coming time, we'll find out doctors will change their practice. Because they become at peace, they become at ease. We have to find a solution where the people, by losing, do not find the threat in their lifestyle or in their existence. This will be our biggest problem. We see the change by thousands in the development, but now it has to go 
in the change by millions and millions more and then we'll reach the point that it becomes part of the structure. Those of you who are afraid of losing food or water with the warning from the German government and the other governments which are coming online, understand there should be no fear if you understand the technology. There should be no fear whatsoever. Maybe your government is kind to you to tell you there is a time to look at the alternatives. The present resources cannot suffice. Maybe it's an avenue we have to look at. And our governments are not warning us, but allowing us to look at an alternative a viable alternative, and it's for us to make the technology to become viable. The problem is not destroying, the problem is not destroying, but adding to, and this addition is the problem. many people will find salvage or find solution with the process of the plasma technology and a lot of people will not receive because the expectation is not what they see. We will see changes and we will achieve huge changes, but the process is how fast we can implicate and apply this technology across the world. I advise you, we saw this, we had a trial run with China blood, we had a trial, trial run with Italian earthquake disaster. My advice to you is start creating sufficient amount of material that when these things come up, you can move very fast. And even if they don't come, the material lasts for millions of years. It's still effective for your grandchildren and great-grandchildren if the disaster is not in your time. Because the GANS does not diminish in power as long as the matter-state of the plasma exists. 